So guys, it is 6 a.m. It is time for SnowRunner. Yes, we are back with a brand new episode of Phase 4. If you guys could be awesome, leave a little like on the video. We're about to rid this map of a landslide. That's the goal. It's It looks quite easy. But believe me, it is not. There is a horrific slope just here. I see. The verticality is insane. Um, it tends to just flip trucks over. It's, it's very, very, very hard. But there is a alternative route now. We can go up and around, which will take a little bit longer. But we're going to try the more difficult route first. <laughs> I'm going to regret this, aren't I? I know it. So two wooden planks and one spare part. Again, the planks will eventually run out, which is definitely a minor concern no doubt and one so yep that's all we need i don't want to carry any more materials than i yeah i just want to carry the essentials basically uh, let's make sure the voron is fully repaired fully gassed up all right we are ready to go had some slight in issues with the engine took a bit of a smack on one of those slabs uh it's all good it's all good even I thought the last episode went fairly well. There's still people in the comments that are not happy. Um, not patient enough. Uh, just not very good, apparently. I disagree. I've been reading a lot of comments, particularly about this map. People cannot get from point A to B. And guys, we are delivering now. In the last episode, anyway. Whether it happens this time, it may not. I've already said it's tricky. But the slope on this route is horrendous. Really bad. Please don't take damage, please don't take damage, please don't take damage. There we go. Please don't take damage, take it nice and slowly. There we go. No needless hits. We want a fully, fully working vehicle for this mission. There we go. Go lovely, nice and smooth. You love to see it. If we can somehow do this on the first go, I would be very chuffed. I've already lost 15 liters of fuel, and I've barely left the the, the warehouse. What a joke! I do have yeah, I do have chains on, so I don't even know. I guess it's just the verticality of this slope. Um, it is. It is tough. I tried to just go there with the, the Voron um, just by itself with no trailer, no cargo, and it rolled. It flipped. <laughs> so I'm not feeling very confident. But I've done it with other vehicles as well. There's just, there's just zero grip there. And gravity just wants to pull you down, which is not great. We're not in a particularly high truck either, so I really don't know what the issue is. There we go. I'm probably go into like a low gear and just really take my time. The trailer might also help. Might add a bit of extra weight. Potentially. Um, I really don't know. You can see it does look pretty steep, doesn't it? That is a pretty steep slope. Going down it, it's fine. You can just put your finger on the brake and it's, it's all good. Alright, let's go to a very low gear here. You can see it's starting to already sort of pull me down. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Trying to stay up high, I think that's a good idea. Come on. So just take it easy. Let those chains try and grab on. We did it! We did it! We took our time! Patience! <laughs> yes! Right, don't roll it now. <laughs> don't roll it on some stupid rock. Okay. Not bad! Right, wooden planks first. And then the service parts. Yes! Doing well, my friend. Now, if one has an all-terrain truck, getting into the quarry will be a, a cinch. It will be. 
So a bit of XP there, a little bit of money. I think we deserve more, but that's that's for another conversation. So what I'm gonna do is I don't really want to reverse here. I might I might go around actually. I've not been down this this route yet. This bit does look particularly tough. I'm not gonna lie. It does look pretty tough. But I'm willing to give it a go. And then loop back round to the to the warehouse and then we're gonna make some more deliveries. That's the um, that's the plan right now. That is the plan. I wanna get these bridges up and running and then we can think about trying to go to the Cosmo Drone, which is apparently quite the task. But there's a pretty sweet reward. So it might be worth it. He says. Famous last words. Yeah, I want to keep the trailer. Um, oh, this might be tough. This is a, <laughs> this is properly thick snow. Woo, okay. Okay. Fair enough. Yep. That's a low plus. No, it is, it's actually that thick. Okay. This is where I, I really don't like having chain tires, but this would not be possible. I wouldn't have been able to get rid of the landslide without these chain tires. It just it wouldn't have been possible. If I had mud tires, I would be slipping down that slope right now. Crying. So, I just have to cope with it, I guess. I don't think this way is possible. I tried to detach from the trailer. Maybe, I, I, I think it's the rocks, honestly. The snow, of course, isn't helping, but yeah, I thought I've got a bad feeling though. If I reverse, I know where we're going. <laughs> I know exactly where we're going. Uh, so what I'm going to try and do is get the trade a bit more back in position. There we go. And I should be able to attach it again and start reversing, I hope. There we go. Let's get to it. We are not going up that way. Maybe... Maybe I should just try and climb the rocks. You see the camera's absolutely freaking out. Maybe just try and climb that rock on the left. I, just, I don't think... Navarron is particularly good at climbing rocks. It's a bit low. So it does struggle a little bit. So yes, we are going back. To the slope. I know exactly what's going to happen here. I'm not the best at reversing. I, I try to avoid it in the game, to be honest. But needs must. Needs must. I can't say is that fuel there. <laughs> that's not fuel, right? I think that's like an old, old, old little service trailer. It's just been left. Fuel carrier, even. Keep it going. Keep it going. Put on a rock there a little bit. See, these rocks aren't too bad because there's obviously there's snow there. Um, sorry, there's there's mud there. There's not there's no snow. It doesn't cause too many issues. Can't believe I'm doing a three point turn on this rock. This is not advisable in any way. Letting gravity do its work. Uh oh, there we go, there we go. Woo! Break! <laughs> that handbrake is, uh, is essential. There we go. Don't know if this is gonna work. Come on! Yes! Screw you! All right. <laughs> have found quite a nice little route uh, to get back into the warehouse quite nicely. <laughs> Just take this route here. <laughs> there we go. Pretty safe and sound. No damage. What more could you possibly want? So, uh, we are going back down to the bridge that we left in the last episode. I dropped off some metal beams and that was it. It wasn't quite done yet. So I will begin that bridge to the island start tracking 
Um, I don't know whether to take some more service parts with me. I, I could... I'm, I'm sure this next bridge needs service parts. I'm tempted to bring some extras with me. Potentially. Maybe. <laughs> uh, what does it need? Uh, service parts and metal beams. So that takes up four slots. Yep. So we've got service parts there and the metal beams. We're a bit overstocked, but I can then use the loading crane to drop the uh, service parts to one side. So I'm sure the next breed is going to need them. See, I reckon other trucks could get over that with no hesitation whatsoever. That's... Yeah. I don't want to cause any damage here, so I'm just going to go around it. <laughs> just going to go around it. Oh, it's this bridge again. So what I like to try and do, uh, I've done this tip for the way back, is try and use the lights, the central lights, as like an indicator almost, to try and get across. So I sort of center myself. So you take your time. Once you're centered, accelerate! <laughs> I've only done it with this truck, though, so... Yeah. That is all I know. But if we can get this done... Again, another massive deal... For this island. For this map. Another big, fat tick... Against my name, hopefully. The Cosmo Drone... Is... Is going to be tough. There's a lot of stuff you need... To open up that map. But... There is a truck which some de describe as the best vanilla truck in the game. That means no mods. Um, so obviously I want it. <laughs> I want it badly. So, yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I want it though. We made it. Well, almost. <laughs> Um, as you can see, no damage. All we all we done pretty much there was uh, used up some fuel. That was pretty much the uh, yeah. That's the end of it, really. Not bad. Metal beams. First phase is done. Obviously, we delivered one metal beams in the last episode at the very end. In case you guys missed it. And then we need service parts. There we go. And the bridge is complete hole. It is done. It might be a good place to put another another fuel stop here. And we leveled up. 24. Woo. Great. We can now access the island. Here's your pay. That's actually not bad. 8,000. 8, I'll take that. I will take that. So I haven't accepted the next bridge. Of course, again, mega essential. Has to be completed. Has to be done. Uh, I'm guessing it needs metal beams again. This ain't the first bridge that got cut up for scrap. Literally, you got people going around cutting up bridges for money. What? Need a new crossing. As long as no one takes it. There we go. Subtly done. <laughs> if you ever noticed, I am pretty, pretty bad at doing this, but it's fine. There we go. <laughs> Restore the crane, and we can leave. And we'll come back for that later on, if it's hopefully um okay. <laughs> I I honestly don't use the crane that much. Yeah, I think it might be good to have maybe a fuel carrier somewhere, maybe on this island, for example. I think that'd be quite a good idea. There's going to be a fair amount of activity around here. I would imagine we'll be driving past this area a lot. So I reckon roughly there and back to those to that island. About 200 litres, is that right, do you reckon? Yeah, about 200 litres... 
Um, pretty much, yeah, straight there and back. I did use the crane briefly, which also uses fuel, so that's a factor. But yeah, for the most part, about 200 litres. I did take a slight knock on the way back, which I'm so annoyed at, but there we go. Uh, yeah, what, what can you do? So I would like metal beams twice again and then I would like some service parts and then we are good to go pretty much pretty much we have all we need lovely uh, service parts thank you that should be enough to get that bridge complete because we left the service parts back there from our last delivery so yeah gonna fuel up again Otherwise, we're going to run out. <laughs> we don't want that. No, no, no. Do not want that. It's, it's going okay. Touch wood, guys. It's going okay. Uh, right. I want to go from the... What am I doing here? There we go. I don't know how much I screwed it up. Almost. Confusing myself. I'm pretty sure even sitting idle, this burns five litres of fuel this this truck is elon musk's worst nightmare <laughs> it's unreal that 20 liters a minute oh, oh, oh. Just loves a good drink absolutely loves it and of course it's getting late has been a very very long day i think we've begun this episode about i don't know six seven a.m i believe when i checked I bet I do some damage here. Coming at a slightly tighter angle. Ooh, that's all good. It's all good. So bring it round. Don't really want to do any more any more damage to the uh, the engine, ideally. There we go. It's not that bad. <laughs> the evil slabs of doom from the last episode haven't quite attacked me this time. Come on, let's get this delivery done, guys. And then we can pat ourselves in the back. Oh, no. Just took a big hit there. I think I've got a flatty. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, this could cause a few issues. Uh... Yeah, that's not great, is it? Man, no slabs. I swear I was... I'm going to have to watch that back, but... I feel like I was taking it fairly easy. And it just went bang straight into it. Caused the flat. There you go. I'm all over the place now. I'm getting far too cocky. A couple of good deliveries. And it goes straight to his head. Oh, this is not what we want. This is not what we want at all. Let's take it a bit easier, aren't I? Yeah. It's always the front tyres as well. If it was, I don't know, the middle tyre, for example, it wouldn't really matter as much. I don't remember if the, the car has a spare wheel. I can see one on the roof rack. So I'm going to stop the engine. We are going to switch over and maybe do some repairs. Do we have... I think we do have some wheels, actually. Yes! We're back, guys! We're back! That's awesome. Uh, I don't think we have any repair points. Is that right? Or do we? We do! Yeah, it's now fully healed. Wow, the Khan is stepping up. He, we left the Khan... In the first episode, basically. Um, he's actually empty. He's got no fuel. <laughs> Whoops. Do you have fuel? Yeah, you got a little bit. Yeah, you're fine. It's fine. Right, change over. Yes, fully healed. Nicely done, Mr. Khan. Right, please. Do not break. It's so... It's not something I've done too often. Uh, but having vehicles in different spots really does help it's really helped me out and again it's not really something i've done that much to be honest sort of vehicle management within the map 
yeah, it really helps. It's definitely bene it's benefited me quite a bit in terms of repairs, fuel, uh, assist as well if we flip over, which happens a lot on this map. I've heard the other ones aren't as bad in this phase. It's just this one is the most tricky, put it that way. Feels good. Let's have everything back in order. Must admit, I do find this this loading crane a bit a bit shoddy. It's not great. It's not the best crane. Ideally, you want a heavy crane and then a trailer, but that's just not how life works. <laughs> life, the game would be too easy with a big fat heavy crane. The plug, you'd be you'd be too heavy. The heavy crane is weighty. Very weighty. Believe me, you see the stack drop as soon as you install it. Right, the first phase of this job should be done. Break. Uh, unload, unload. There we go. Putting up bridges, destroying rocks, landslides. That's what we've been doing in this uh, this series so far. So one spare part. So we need one more. Luckily, someone's planned ahead. Now I've got to somehow load it up. I must admit the sides on this trailer don't really help with the crane. There we go. Professional. Professional indeed. Give it a little rotate. It's actually not too bad, the loading crane. I think anything that's two slots um, should, should work with this crane. Uh, there we go. Um, exit this mode. Restore the crane. And then we have to pack the cargo. There we go. And we are good. Don't reverse. <laughs> don't, don't reverse. Didn't ask you to do that. That's another bridge done. <laughs> Seeing some good money coming in there as well. Which is a, a great sign. I've been losing a lot recently. Whew. I hope this is the last time we have to fix up bridges. Thank you for your help. No problemo. So we now have a bridge all the way to town. Yes. I'm so happy. What I will do is skip time so we can actually see what's going on. <laughs> uh, yes, so for example, these missions at the Apex, Unlucky Expedition can be done. Bottoms up, got no idea what that's about. Uh, looks like a, ooh. Interesting, that could be a fun little rescue. Um, yeah, this is the Cosmo drone. As you can see, it is currently locked. I think it's this one. A heap of work. Yeah, you're not kidding, are you? That is a lot of work. Wow. <laughs> uh. So I think it's a big, big landslide. You can sort of see it there, actually. It is, um, yeah, it's in, not in the best shape. There's a service trailer over here, I think, as well, which has to be done at the end. Whew. That's going to be a big job. I think we might try and do that in the next episode. It's going to be a big episode if we do. A massive episode. How do we even get past... Oh, there's a bridge there. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't look easy, that's for sure. Uh. Yeah, so wooden planks. That's, that's a lot. The spare parts are one slot, so that's not too bad. That's at least... Let me do my maths. Two. Three deliveries. That's not too bad, actually. Three deliveries. And then, obviously, I've got to do the um, the service trailer, which I believe is somewhere here-ish. It's not too bad. That will be, I think, for the next episode. We want to try and open up the Cosmo Drone. Oh, yes. Let's go and quick look at this town, though. I'm here to help. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, again, any recommendations for trucks uh, for deliveries like this um, or trailers I should be using? Any sort of comments, as long as they're constructive and you guys are being nice, I'm, uh, I'm all for it. 
Why would you live here? No offense. <laughs> no offense. I'm sorry. It's a cool looking town. What can I say? And we've definitely helped. We've helped them out a lot. Yeah. I'm excited for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be a big episode. Bye-bye.